Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Meme and welcome back to Original Content Self-Inflicted. Uh, I'm Mr. Meme and with me today I have Spooky. Hello, I'm your ghost with the most. And Luno. Hello, I'm a writer and I shit out ink. And uh, welcome that you do. to and welcome to our today uh, we have a very funny author. Welcome to our uh, National Tragedies Day uh, special. Uh, we are doing a oh yeah, we're, we're already going. To, this is already going up on nine eleven. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this off. We're doing an office highlight on uh, this guy right here uh, called uh, fucking uh, man. Cody Rassman. Cody uh, Rassman. Now you might, or maybe it's Cody W. Rassman. Now, uh, if you've seen, uh, now if you if you like see like the first like three paragraphs of this yeah, guy's bio, yeah, if you around the block on this little sub, if you YouTube, if, you've if, seen if you seen people write nine nine eleven fiction, yeah. Now, if you only like read like the first like three paragraphs of this guy's bio, you might not think of anything of him until you continue reading, where you realize that. Uh, this guy writes stories about cartoon characters being in real life tragedies that happen yeah. in the real world. And uh But before we get and get to that, let's take a look at his uh his his bio. Yes, so uh he is He was, he joined September first, twenty sixteen. His profile was last updated June seventh of twenty twenty two. So he's been around the block for a while. Kinda of like Kind of the same, kind of like the same, like, period of time when we first, like, started talking about starting a channel. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. But, uh, so. here, he has written 97... That 70s show, oh no. <laughs> the Amazing World of Gumball, Breadwinners, That 80s Show, Clarence, Loud House, Camp Laszlo, Titanic, Britannic... SpongeBob SquarePants, Craig of the Creek, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and Jellystone. And Arthur. Don't forget Arthur. about Arthur. Oh, so what's Oh, Brintan? God, Arthur. What's Britannic? What's, what's, like, what's Britannic? It's like the strawberry cake and the cake in every, in every autistic man's ice cream shop. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if this guy has, uh, I wonder if this guy, this is the guy who wrote the other Arthur Battle Royale story that we didn't do. What's, uh, what's Britannic? What the fuck is Britannic? Britannic was another ship that, he's like, it was like the sister ship of the Titanic or some oh, shit. Oh, so it's not it like, also it's not a British yeah. version it of out? the movie Titanic, which is already a British movie if you think about it. Yeah, but, uh. Let's see, uh, shows he likes. He loves Harvey Beaks, Amazing World of Gumball, Breadwinners, and Clarence. <laughs> uh, that, that's my favorite show. Harvey Beaks, Amazing World of Gumball, Breadwinners. <laughs> and he also likes the show Clarence, that 70s show, and that 80s show, King of Laszlo. Do you, do you think, uh, do you think there's a black exploitation film about the Titanic? <laughs> I don't be. know. There might be. Uh, favorite movies. Favorite I mean, movies. No, 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 Titanic. No, 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 no wait. Shut up. He, he hates shows like SpongeBob SquarePants and Fanboy and Chum Chum, those stupid fucking baby shows. Uh, uh, this guy. This guy is. <laughs> found the Mr. Enter Watcher. <laughs> wait, no, he couldn't be a Mr. No, he can't. No, no, he can't be a fucking Mr. Enter Orbiter. This guy likes breadwinners. And Clarence. Oh, that is true. May maybe no, no, ne not necessarily, not necessarily, because like he could, he does. People can like still, you can still like a guy, but not agree with everything he says. Uh, but you know, you, still have you, garbage opinions. You have no idea how big of a fucking hive mind the Mister Enter fandom is. You know that. That's true. He, he's definitely, he's definitely like. I, yeah, I'm willing to put put down money that this guy collects like VHS tapes and DVDs of these shows. Probably, uh, his favorite movies are Titanic. Maybe Enemy a fan so Titanic Enemy at the Gates Pearl. <laughs> oh, oh no! This is all one movie. This is all one movie. It's uh, 
Titanic enemy at the gate, Pearl Harbor, Forrest Gump, Toy Story, Reba, <laughs> Miserables. All right, so that's one movie. That's and like then the- he likes uh, Risk Terminator, Ghostbusters, Saturday Night Fever, Star Wars, The Poseidon Adventure. That's like that fucking and Rick Twister. and Morty joke. Yeah. Uh, his favorite music <laughs> is 70s, like ABBA, The Bee Gees, Aerosmith, Yvonne, Gloria <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Gaynor, me, Tom Seger, The OJs, Boston, The Cars, Pink Floyd, Queen, Peter, Frampton, Eric Clapton, and more. <laughs> That's my favorite Sonic <laughs> character app for the Bee Gees. <laughs> the Bee Gees. The Staying alive. Staying alive. The OJs. Oh, jeez. He's I, back. I also love 80s hits like Aha Van Halen, Journey, Cindy Lopper, Twisted Sister, no, The no, no, Talking no. Heads. That's Sculpt. how you spell Van Halen. That's how you spell Van Halen. Van Halen. These, Journey. He doesn't Journey, have a whole lot of like Shut music up. variety because these are all just like one or two things. Sorry. Shut up. Let me finish. Journey, Cindy, Lopper, Twisted Sister, The Talking Heads, Culture Club, Michael Jackson, Steve Perry, and more. <laughs> Those that's all one band. Yeah. Hold up. He, World's oh, he greatest is. super group. Oh god. Like musical super group. Like move over Toto. Eat shit. This is a real musical super group. Uh okay, wait, let's take a look at his friends list, alright? Uh friends. Uh Jared uh, Yeah, yeah it's like internet friends. Uh Jared Wood one one one, also known as Jared. Michael Eddie, also known as Michael Squishy Eddie, 89. Legia Harvey Beaks, Fee Sometimes, Foo, Dade Crush, Kratz, Claire Crush. These are characters from Harvey Beaks, by the way. These are his friends. Princess and I don't Pierre, know. Perry, Michelle. I don't remember that show. It is, it is, it is. Uh, Michelle, Mr. and Mrs. Beaks Gumball at times. M- Mrs. Beaks Gumball. Darwin, Anais, Sway Sway, and Badoos. <laughs> Badoos. Clarence, Sumo, <laughs> Jeff, Maple, Mabel, Dipper, Grunkle Stan, and Ford, Link- Ford Lincoln, Lily, Luna, and Lana. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pull up uh, like a bit of use. Oh. oh my god. He has enemies like- too. Look at his enemies list. This is this is uh, Richard Nixon's enemies list. Imagine this. M- Matson Culver, hey, do you guys want to aka, AKA Thomas Fan forty eight, kill Harvey Beats. Oh my Grand god, is a fucking girl Oh my god, there's a fucking brocomotive. At times, <laughs> Mr. Shoop Gumball. At times, he's he, Bill Cipher, Stan and Ford's father, Van Boy <laughs> Chump Chump, SpongeBob. Rob Laurie Land Blue Loud and Lola Loud feel when she picks on Dade. This dick thing I think we've ever seen. Oh my god, bro. Favorite like, favorite like like like, like, like I've, I've been watching a bit of Deadwing Dork recently and like I've seen so many people <laughs> just like this on YouTube who like who are like collect VHS or who are like in their mid twenties and they still like collect like Blues Clues VHS tapes and have like Blues Clues Discord servers where they show up like weird and it's like this is weird, right? You guys see yourselves, right? You, you hear the words that are coming out of your mouths, right? Yeah. It's like this is so insane. When when is Sega Sonic Gamer gonna show up and show us how we can t- how he's gonna show all the all the all the girls a good time? All the girls that just happen to be like ten to thirteen. Wait, no, no, you don't understand. He's possessed by the ghost of a pedophile. Wait, no, that's the other Sonic guy. <laughs> yeah, the Sega Sonic. Some, some like some guy. Crater in the side of his head. Some like Discord user on like a fucking like Sonic fan game like server. He, he claimed that he was possessed by a ghost of a pedophile. That's why he he sexted all sexted all those minors. Yeah. But your uh, honor, my client was possessed by the ghost of a pedophile. That's a South Park episode. Your honor, I brought here a spirit medium. We're gonna channel the ghost of the pedophile that possessed my client. <laughs> 
favorite Howdy, y'all. Uh, uh, he has favorite ships. Um, fuck, I hate that. I hate this shit. Harvey X Peary Peary. Harvey X Dead. Hi, I'm Dead. And uh, Fu X Claire. I don't care. The um, Foo Fighters. <laughs> too soon. Uh, okay, here's 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 where things get fucking strange. Oh, uh, here you go. Can I read this one? Sure, go ahead, man. <laughs> favorite subject is history. My favorite subject is the Titanic. World Wars One. Nine Eleven. There's nine eleven. Put in like this. We put in like the fucking put in the Jeopardy jingle. <laughs> there it is. Uh, this could be counted as our first nine eleven special, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this guy does have quite a few 9-11 stories. Yeah. But and that's... some that we'll probably save for future future sessions. Probably. Stalingrad, D-Day, the Cold War, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, it, the Hindenburg. Yeah, he's interested half in... Half a century. 50, so yeah, he's interested in half a century of American history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just go ahead and assume it's American history, unless told otherwise that it's world history. Uh, okay, I guess world history. But considering that most this of these probably are, like, but, but considering most of these are like like tragedies and wars <laughs> that have some involvement with America, I'm, I'm I don't know. Not always necessarily the good guy, like you know Vietnam. Other other issues, American. Unless I see yeah. the Irish potato famine in this list, I am not thinking otherwise. This is a very American centric young man. Yeah. The American Civil young War. Young man, probably we know to be fucking 40. The American Revolutionary War. Uh, the Korean War. The Vietnam War and many more. Many more tragedies. This is like this dude probably fucking. Do you think this guy fucking edges to weed and start the fire? You know what? It could have been a lot worse for these like tragedy focused stories. Like we could have gotten one about fucking Columbine. You know. Dude. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm surprised just, we haven't stumbled upon a school shooter fanfic yet. Like. Just, remember just the weekly like, FBC that was all about brat. Just, just, uh, just be glad that, like, with every, like, um, Columbine story, there's, like, 50 11 stories, you know? Yeah. Although, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But... Sketch of, like... Yeah, I just remember this, like, fucking sketch of, like, the scene where Goku turns Super Saiyan 3 for the first time, and he's like, this is my normal form, and then this is what's known as a school shooting fanfic. And then this is what is known as an offensive fanfic that's gone beyond that. You could call it a 9-11 fanfic. Yeah. And then he's like, and this is to go even further beyond, beyond and then he yeah. turns into a Holocaust fanfic. Uh, so, uh, I, I want I'm gonna skip the, uh, fanfic. You do exist, YouTube. and coincidentally, a lot of the Holocaust fanfics I've seen are Dragon Ball. I'm gonna skip the for some reason. YouTuber, YouTube channels, because there's not really a YouTuber I really know nor care about. Um... Titanic Honor and Glory? Are these all just his friends? I, pr- I think and so. Titanic Honor and Glory? It's probably like a channel of some like fan film or some shit. But uh, we got OCs Titanic or OCS. Godzilla. Or o- OCs or OCS. I. Original content self. What? <laughs> original content sis. So yeah, so these are. These are fucking OC characters, uh, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess I could do this one. Darren and Daniel, two orphan <laughs> twins who are cats. Darren is a child who shows lack of intelligence and annoying, while Daniel's is shown to be intelligent. And nearly both Darren and Daniel are orange cats, with Darren having a white spot on his head. And Daniel just an orange Darren wears a yellow shirt, sleeve shirt, a light blue short. An orange? Daniel wears green short sleeve shirts and same shorts. If they Wait, were to on, be... Hold on, just an orange? An orange wearing cat ears? Yes. If they were to be real, they would be voiced by Eric Boaza from Breadwinners and Cameron... Oh, Casio 
from Sam and Cat. And then we just got Jacob, who is Eric Bowser. brother. Eric Bowser, that's the guy who does the current fucking voice of... He, he voiced fucking... He voices the fucking Looney Tunes nowadays. Yeah. J- Jacob... I also remember he voiced the main villain of the Dick Figures movie. <laughs> Dick Figures. <laughs> Jacob, and we just got fucking Jacob here, who's like Claire's older brother, who's nice and kind to Claire more than this twin sister is. Uh, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's his bio, which is incredible. Now we get to what, the uh, What a funny, funny little character. There's What I want to know is, where's, where's, where's Blood Griffin, Mr. Bean? Where's, where's Blood Edge of the Griffin? I don't know. Uh, but we got ourselves the story. Yeah, I know Blood Edge of the Griffin. Is... Here's Blood Edge of the Griffin. What? Oh, yeah, I've, yeah. I think I've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Name Blood Edge the Griffin, 18, gender male. Weapon, blood edge, gets stronger with every kill. Attacks, blood slash, blood slice, blood stab. Then a sure blood decapitate. Bohog, the griffins fear but respect him. Prepares, prefers to be alone and listen to music. About favorite bands, corn, system of a down, shine down. Oh my god, is that me? Maybe. Friend, Stewie, retap, Goku, quote, nah, asterisk, listens to music, asterisk. Anyways. What a powerful character. Yeah. So now we're going into his stories. Um, there's 97. We're not covering all of them. Fuck no. But uh, we're going to we're gonna take a look at the descriptions. So yeah. I can read a few if they're not fucking long. Because most of these are like 7,000 words. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, um... Oh, there's, okay, this one, there's one we can't read because it's too long. But there's one called The Devil Dwarfer. Hold up, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sort them and, out Like, I just by, wanna look at uh, the description. We're gonna sort them out by, uh... Tiel, the second child of Irving and Miriam Beeks, the sister of Harvey, yet the Beeks' parents don't know that their dog, do- dog, Dwagther is the Dwagther of Satan. What, hold up. We're, Not we'll Satan. Get, we'll get to that, but first, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sort them by publish... And go all the way down to their first story. <laughs> and then we're gonna I... <laughs> see what we go from here. Are we being in this? Stuff? I don't want. To, let's uh. This guy just never forget Harvey Beaks nine eleven. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Harvey B. The story is dedicated to those who died in nine eleven. This is our first one. Uh, we're gonna see. Uh, this is Little Bart, <laughs> September eleven. This is this this is the uh this is the wallpaper. This is the cover. Uh, What's with the fucking between yeah, them? It's like Photoshop. It's like a Photoshop temple. They build it. It's the Statue of Liberty. What? <laughs> Why does the Statue of Liberty look like that? I don't know. And it I looks like remember. something out of fucking Monument Mythos. And I don't remember the Statue of Liberty being that fucking brightly turquoise. Like yeah, been a while, so and also I don't remember. I don't remember. Granted, I don't remember because I've not because I was. I don't remember if the Statue of Liberty was right in front of the fucking twin towers. Yeah, but uh, I, I, hey. little Bart. So uh, here we go. You read the description. And tell you to watch it. Yeah, this story is dedicated to those who died on nine eleven. Little Bart, September eleventh, two thousand one. Ten-year-old Harvey Beeks was in tears. <laughs> what he was seeing on TV was a huge ash cloud. Manhattan. People running, screaming, and panicking. It was chaos. Flashback. <laughs> Harvey wakes up. He reads a 2001 calendar that says September, and he reads the, that it is the 11th today. Harvey, oh September 11th. September 11th. My favorite day of the year. <laughs> 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 My birth. My birthday. <laughs> A picture of a girl whose birthday was on 9-11. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pull that up. God, read! Picture. Uh, fucking whatever. 
After breakfast, Harvey turns on the TV and the programs are interrupted by breaking news that a plane has in, into on of the towers at, of the World <laughs> Trade Center. Harvey was shocked to see the North Tower has a huge gaping hole and smoke just coming out. And... Dade! 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 <laughs> Dade runs in. Hey guys, have you heard? Classic Dade. Classic Dade. No, this is not how Dade should be. Dade react. runs hey, in. Hey, Dade, hey, hey, guys, have you heard? The Dade should be like, oh, that, Ah, that's the plane right. did hit the towers! Guys, guys, turn on the TV! They hit the Pentagon! Okay, if they were. Turn on the airport. TV, it doesn't matter what channel. If this is the air, Hey, air guys, air have you heard? Fuck. Harvey, hey. yes, we are watching Rick now, Dade. Shows day the TV fee Fu and Claire come in to see to see what's happening. Harvey could Harvey could but was seeing the North Tower was on fire. People were falling to their death. <laughs> People? He could Plural? believe what he was seeing. Was... If I remember correctly, only no, like one Mr. Person... Mean, he could believe what he. If I remember correctly, only one person fell off the tower, right? No, no, multiple people. I think it was several. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Also, but like, but like, fucking he, Harvey could believe what he was seeing. He's seen this before. <laughs> yeah. I mean, his sister is the dog for of Satan. He's got like fucking like Sans powers. Like he can go to other timelines and see it, every outcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, his uh, his. His dad's friend Alvin told him they were going to do this today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were they're both Nickelodeon shows. Yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, another plane shows up and crashes into this tower, followed by a huge fiery explosion. Harvey, Fee, Fu, Jade, Claire, Mr. and Mrs. Beeks, and Michelle just gas. The plane was aiming at the tower. They began to realize this was no accident. <laughs> Miss, thought this was not to accident. Mrs. Beach, it was like 1993 all over again. Hold up, hold up. The, so the second, so the plane, the plane hits the second tower, and then like like a couple of seconds later, yeah. it starts bursting into a fiery explosion. And then another plane hits it. Not instantly. Okay. Yeah, because like, let me read that again. All of the, all of a sudden, another plane shows up and crashes into the second tower, followed by a huge fiery explosion. Harvey, Fee, Fu, Dade, Claire, and Mr. and Mrs. Beeks, and Michelle just gasp at what they saw. The, the literal baby gasp at what they saw. They saw what looked like a second plane was aiming at the tower, so two planes hit the second tower. <laughs> so, so, so really, three planes were involved. Actually, four planes, if you think but about Mr. It. President, a second plane has hit the second tower. Oh, no, Mr. President, bro. a second plane has hit the second tower. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why I made the president sound like Muscle Man. It's like, oh, no, bro. George Bush is Muscle Man. I love it. <laughs> oh, no, bro. <laughs> you know who else... You know who else is going to make? Who else has weapons of mass destruction? Oh. My mom. Do you know who else is in the second tower? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know who else was in nine eleven? My dad. <laughs> Read. To Mrs. Beeks, it was like 1993 all over, Adrian. <laughs> what happened in 1993? Harvey just grabs Michelle and holds on to her. What? What happened? In, what happened in 1993? Don't don't. Oh yeah, there was a there was a terrorist attack on the World Trade Center in 1993. Did you not know that? I. I Someone I, drew like drove a van into one of the buildings. Oh okay. It was like, it was full of like explosives. Uh, Harvey just grabs Michelle and holds on to her. Later, they watched what was happening. All of this bad Mrs. Beast begins crying with her husband comforting her. She wasn't crying yet. 
Harvey was just caught and shocked at what he saw of the South Tower of the World Trade Center and just collapsed on live TV. Harvey just... Or everyone was in tears soon after the North Tower collapses. Everyone cries. Even more, Harvey couldn't believe the North Tower had just collapsed. No, it's fucking redundant. <laughs> we get it. Uh... The World Trade Center was no more than a pile of rubble and a cloud covered buildings in Lower Manhattan. No, no, uh, it was and a then pool. and then it turned into a pool. It turned into. Both rooms had to swim in a different pool, and also, also, you know, nothing. There was no, there was no plane that crashed in Pennsylvania. There was no fucking plane that crashed into the Pentagon. Yeah. What kind of fucking that flashback is this? Harvey for 9-11. God. Harvey. End of flashback. It was all, all over again, except in 1993, the, the towers didn't fall. What was... was 1993. Wait, 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 wait. What was he having a flashback to? It was... I, it's like what? Weird. End, of, that, end of what... That's some weird fucking, like, Quentin Tarantino shit right there. No, it's not like Quentin Tarantino, because, like, it's it's still telling the story, but out of order. He was just having a flashback to, like, two minutes ago. Yeah, and then had a flashback of the recent <laughs> events in his In life. his flashback to two minutes ago. He had a flashback in his flashback. Yeah. I think that's called a flashbang. He had a flash forward in his flashback. <laughs> Except in 1993, the towers didn't fall on TV. Now was the Pentagon on fire? A plane had crashed into the Pentagon! Lyle, Lyle, turn on the TV! They hit the Pentagon! They hit the Pentagon! Yo, Davey, they hit the Pentagon, Davey! Dade was on the phone. And he gets the news as he walks to a TV. A TV. Dade. Sorry, guys. I had to change the channel. He turns it to football. 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 9-11 Everyone day. starts football. to complain they wanted to watch 9-11. <laughs> Wait, where are most kids at? Where are most kids at school at that time? <laughs> football. A lot of them were, yeah. Football on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Football on 9-11! Foot <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Everyone starts to complain. They wanted to... But they changed the channel to reveal a crater in Pennsylvania? They're like a fucking Saiyan pod crashed in Pennsylvania? It's a fucking meteor. That's the day Napa and Vegeta came to Earth. Man, what an eventful day that day was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was... It was the most eventful day in Pennsylvania history. I, you know, my my parents tower, were like... You know, the Twin Towers crumbled down, but hey, at least Goku came into our lives, you know? Yeah, it saved the world. It saved yeah. the world, yeah. <laughs> Goku, he had the Saiyan <laughs> part that crashed was Goku's. <laughs> yeah. You can watch this <laughs> crash into the air. <laughs> and and now, man... The monkey and boy was right. in the Appalachian Mountains of Pennsylvania. He has tremendous power. The CIA. Oh my God! Imagine if fucking imagine if the CIA got Goku and they turned him into fucking Homer. God. <laughs> We're fucked. Yeah. Oh, Harvey. Uh, and then and the news to now tell all the all. Air traffic has been grounded. Planes can no longer take off. They are physically incapable. <laughs> all Harvey cared about were the people. Oh, all, all Harvey cared about were the pe were the people who were in the twin towers when they collapsed, and the Pentagon, and on Flight ninety three. None of the people who are in the planes that crashed into the Pentagon or into the towers. 
Man. Or the big picture about the war that I'm coming. But hey, who gives a fuck about the about the people who, about the people who are going to be on the countries that are going to be toppled over? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all hard. Uh, tears just stream down the little bird's face, knowing all the people who. Harvey just walks outside to see everyone crying or upset by what they all saw. Harvey could think about the people who die. <laughs> Fucking like everyone. And people crying. Like... Dave, Peary, Peary, Kratz, Michelle, his parents, almost everyone. Except the Muslim family that just moved in. Oh, you can say that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? They're not even Muslim. They're not even Muslim. They're Indian, but they just look brown. <laughs> God, you can't say that. <laughs> Can't do that. It's true. It actually happened though. Really? Like in real life. We must like a little bit of small town justice and racial profiling. Harvey. Yeah. God. Fucking yeah, Spooky, Spooky accidentally stepped on a Muslim family, considering that he's a guy show and all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a reason why. <laughs> you ever wonder why kaiju don't attack the Middle East? <laughs> Keep reading. It's for a number of reasons. First off, the light of Allah is too powerful. Keep reading. Uh, Harvey just, uh, his parent, uh, fucking, Harvey, later that night, Harvey just cre cried in his sleep. Thinking about what had happened, but he just created himself to sleep. The uh, next day, September 12, 2001, the day after a tragedy, Harvey just saw his parents and sees his. He hugged his mom, them. Harvey, hey mom. <laughs> Mrs. Beaks, hey sweetie, you do. I am okay. Harvey sees his baby sister, Michelle, sitting in her high chair. Hey, Michelle. Uh, Harvey, hey, Michelle. Harvey kisses Michelle on the forehead. Mr. Beast walks in. Hey, Dad. Harvey, hey, Dad. <laughs> Harvey then hugs his father and walks away. Mr. Beast just sat down and reads the newspaper. I the picture of the South Tower exploding on the paper all day. <laughs> I thought you said Mr. Beast. I thought, I, thought his father, I thought his father was going to have a framed picture of, his, of, of the sun. Like, it's impressive that, they, that the fucking news managed to capture a picture of the South Tower as it was exploding. <laughs> fucking, like, he's gonna... Or maybe out. maybe it's like a fucking... Maybe they got, like, Futurama newspaper and all the pictures are holograms. Oh, my God. And it's you like a gif of the tower exploding. Yeah. But, like, first off, and also, a picture of the South Tower exploding on the paper all, all day. So it didn't... It didn't... It didn't take breaks. You know, Harvey... Just Harry, it's like Harry Potter like pictures. Oh, yeah. Harvey just showed love to everybody, his family and friends, and they began wondering why he's in a good mood, knowing that yesterday he was in tears. Because uh, he realized that was God's wish. It was all part of God's big master plan. It was all the work of his baby. <laughs> and then he hit, and then he, they, they all hit him. Then they all hit him. Like, dude, I know people who died in that shit. <laughs> God. Uh, it, yet they didn't care. Full of pure goodness, they just let it slide. Harvey learned a lesson on nine eleven, and it is that you should be, you have to be thankful for what you have. You got to be thankful for the one. September eleventh. <laughs> God. 2,996 people died on 9 11 at the World Trade Center. 2,606 people, including 343 firefighters at the Pentagon. 125 and 265 on the four planes with no survivors. This fanfic is dedicated to those who lost their lives on 9 11. Rest in peace. Do you think he got sent to, like, the fucking principal's office for, like, assuming this as his high school essay? <laughs> no, no. I'm pretty, I like, I'm pretty sure when this guy wrote this, he was he he dropped out of high school. He didn't get to go to high school. <laughs> for special boys. Oh man! Let's look at the reviews. Really mean. What the That's fuck? Really mean. That's really mean. What the fuck? What? Okay, this is a nope, fucking... nope. 
Okay, no, nope, not looking at that. Block that out. Block that out. Block that out. Not looking at that. Not this looking guy, at that. Okay, yeah, this guy's a fucking like troll. Um, that's a that's a troll. Yeah. God. Anyways. Oh, uh, look at this, Cody Rassman. If uh, you are C H Greenblatt, then answer this shit. How many siblings do stay to have? <laughs> Uh, yes, I, I was, yes, C.H. Greenblatt, creator of Harvey Beaks, and also Chowder and Jellystone, and writer for fucking Spongebob, would, uh, would love to see, would love to answer your question if he saw this fucking Harvey oh, Beaks 9-11 Do you story. think this dude's world would fucking collapse if he learned C.H. Greenblatt wrote for Spongebob? Probably. I want to see this guy's Spongebob story, because he did write one. Nerd, uh, Nerd Amanda is a consistent person on this fucking, uh, on this fucking com this review section. Uh, Nerd Amanda is like, seriously, by 9-11, will Irving cry, not Miriam, but she will cry for deaths of her child, but it's secret and I have forget it. And Cody Rasmussen responds with, see, what? Blood, is that you? This guy thinks this, this guy what? he thinks that Nerd Man is C H Greenblatt. <laughs> is that gonna be the thumbnail for this video? Is it gonna be like C H <laughs> Greenblatt like doing a TF two spy disguise? No, it's gonna be all gonna <laughs> like be all walking away from the twin tower. <laughs> it's gonna be all of our favorite cartoon characters. Uh over a or, or maybe maybe it'll be flag. Harvey Geeks. Maybe it'll be Harvey but the gems are all different tragedies, like 9-11, the Titanic, fucking this triangle shirtwaist factory fire. Can we do that one next? God, maybe. But, yeah, so, yeah, never forget, um, just Clarence in the 60s, Amazing World Gumball in the 70s, who cares? Uh, Harvey Halloween, it's Halloween, and Harvey... And Harvey, his friends, and some crossover characters join in the fun. Warning, not for the faint of heart. What is it for the faint of heart? Why is it not for the faint of heart? Lincoln Loud in the Orange. Lincoln <laughs> Hey, Apple. Hey. Hey, Apple. <laughs> it's, 19, it's 1933. The Great Depression. During the Great Depression, Lincoln stops by a, a fruit stand and sees some oranges. Can, can we do? Can we do? Can we do the fucking triangle and shirtwaist factory all, one? Let me finish the fucking description, Jesus. And which all Sorry. Lincoln wants is an orange, based on what happened that happened happened during the times of the worst economic depression in history. Rated K plus. Rated K plus for. Cringe. Oh, what is it? What is it? Greenblatt. For kids shouldn't read this, plus there's some real fucked up shit. <laughs> uh, remember, yeah, the yeah, Britannic, whatever. Uh, much more. Harvey Holiday. Lincoln and Harvey trailer. <laughs> This is a trailer on one day, Lincoln finds Harvey Beaks, who, like, he finds him, like, who had lost his show, homeless and all alone, so Lincoln dose a good deed and decides to take him in, but what will his ten sister think of this? Standard Loud House episode. <clears throat> Just ask Harvey Beaks. Uh... The tit all says it all. Titles, the title says it all. <laughs> oh man, date on the Titanic. Just a lot of Titanic stories. If you haven't noticed, oh wait, a lot of D -Day. Titanic. This is a one-shot story of the D-Day landings. Harvey, who enlists, who's enlisted in the U.S. Army, fights a battle at Omaha Beach against Nazi Germany during World War II. Warning, may contain blood, war, violence, and language. Viewer discretion is in No, may contain blood war. Blood war. Favorite band name. Oh, blood God. war. 
What the fuck? Everybody loves Claire. After a failed suicide attempt, Harvey, Fee, Fu, Day, and oh. the others must take Claire. Feel like she's loved to prevent another suicide attempt. No! Come on! <laughs> Do you know from this? I was gonna start joking about fucking DA, but then I saw Where this shit. Where's the SpongeBob story? It's fun. Is the SpongeBob story going to be SpongeBob causing Titanic? I want to. Okay, I want to. I want to hear. I want to see this one a little bit. Hold up. One day, Harvey and Dade were hanging out together, walking together, and minding to their own business. When they heard something. Do you hear that? What? That it sounds like crying. I hear it now. Oh, where, where, where is it coming from? Day just looked around until he saw a light brown fox with dark brown hair and glasses and a brown hair and it looked like she was crying. <laughs> dark brown hair and glasses and a brown hair. I see it. It's Claire. What's wrong with Claire? Writing smell got worse. I don't know, but I don't like the look of this. The bird and the rabbit looked at the fox, who was setting the bird up and the, the bear. bear, and she set a rope around a tree, and she tied the rope around the bridge. <laughs> I'm just imagining a, like, Porky Pig from Tails Gets Trolled. <laughs> Yeah. What is she doing? I don't think I like this. I don't fucking know. John Freeman soon the sad fox tied a the other end of the rope into a noose, and she tied the noose around her neck. Upon seeing this, both Dave and John Freeman realized what Claire is trying to do. Claire was is gonna commit suicide by hanging herself. Oh fuck! Oh bother! <laughs> oh no! Claire, no, don't do this. Stand back up! What are you gonna do? Why are you trying to kill yourself? <laughs> because no one loves I'm bored. me. Why do you mean, Claire? Of course we like you. None of my family likes me. What do you mean? John Freeman. Well, let's see. My sister Heather beats me at everything. She stands on my head and uses my tears to polish her trophies. And she's perfect, so she gets all the attention from my two moms. You guys have any idea what it's like? You're too much. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. That shouldn't be funny. That there shouldn't is. be funny. But just the addition of my two moms in the it's John funny. Freeman voice. It's <laughs> funny because it comes out of nowhere. That's what's funny. <laughs> it's like, oh, geez. Okay, Not yeah, the subject too, itself, but the fact that it's there so abruptly. That's like, okay. <laughs> wow, she's lesbian. I didn't know that. Cool. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna kill myself. Wait, 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 wait! I know how you Do feel, your have big boob? My siblings treat me the way, but... Treat me the same way, but killing yourself won't do anything. It's never the answer. This guy writes 9-11 stories, by the way. All of a sudden, yeah, I mean, that one. Fee and Foo <laughs> appear. Hey, guys, what's up? Claire wants to kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> what the so fuck? A boo boo? What? Hey. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Just, what? Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking God. main man sprite game. Yeah. And guess <laughs> what, Claire? Friend. And guess what, Claire? If you hang yourself, I'm gonna hang myself as well. <laughs> <laughs> What you're supposed to say?
But Dane, Foo Foo and Claire, what? Um, yeah, because me, Fee Foo and Dane are involved now, so we don't have a choice. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fucking Harvey Peaks! Yeah, it's gonna be real hard to get the news around his, his big fat melon head. <laughs> You're crazy! Yeah, everyone says that! But with all due respect, Claire, I am the one with. I am the one who knocks! I am the. I am not <laughs> the one with better. rope around her neck! Just thought. Just thought of it! But then she violently shakes the chair until it falls, and Claire hangs himself. But the note, but the no rope doesn't snap her neck. But the rope begins to strangle her. Claire, <laughs> with that, Harvey, Fu, and Dade grab Claire by her butt. <laughs> Not her legs, her butt, her big fat ass. <laughs> Just replace what? Harvey Beast with Sonic and like Claire with Sonic, Bartleby or some Sonic shit. Sonic Underground characters, yeah. And it'd be a fucking Tamers video. Like, <laughs> and push her up in hopes of preventing her from getting strangled to death. That's not. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> this. Man. B, do something. B grabs her machete and she swings at the rope, cutting the rope in half and freeing Claire from hanging. Her emotional support machete. Yeah, yeah. That's like a Sam and Max thing. Claire, why did you do that? I told you I wanted to die. No, wait, no, this is Claire saying. Claire, I want. I don't do this. <laughs> well, don't do this, man. Why shouldn't I? Because we do care about you. Just look at the pink imp girl. Look, Claire, I think you're cool. I am sorry you can you can't get along with your sister. That doesn't give you the right to take your life, boo boo. Take your own life. Just remember, you helped me save food. Okay. Okay. I granted. I've never been on this end of the situation, but like. I don't know if, like, you don't have the right, is the right, like, choice of words. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like that would make it worse. Yeah. Really does. Like, I, I don't, but then again, I don't know. I've never been on, I've never been on the, I've, I've never been on this end of it. <laughs> yeah, foo, doesn't like me back, remember I asked him out. Oh, uh, Claire, of course I like you, but only as a friend. Fee smacks Foo upside the head. You will... F Ow! She wow! Foo. That's only going to encourage her to kill herself even more. Fuck you, Fee. <laughs> oh my god, is this going to guilt trip him into dating her? He's fucking guilt tripping him. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. I understand, Foo. Don't take person personally. Like we like you, Claire. Yeah, we still like you. Yeah, we, you really mean it? Yes, definitely, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh my God, is that a fucking Gravity Falls reference? Is that Harvey Fee Foo and Day Fee Five Foo and Fum? Day <laughs> just gave Claire a hug, Harvey. And if you want, if you want. To, You'd stay at my house for a while. Really, you let me stay? Yeah, what about your parents? What about my parents? I'll deal with them. I'll fucking kill them. Okay, I guess I can stay. I use I can stay. I use. I Harvey goose. just hugs the fox. The fox. God, really? <laughs> yeah. That's Let's look at the reviews. Okay. Oh, is, it's that person again. That fucking guy. Uh, Jared Wood says, I feel bad for Claire, but it's nice to see that her friends care about her, and then, yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, here, Luno, you read the one that's in Spanish. 
Yo no quiero que Claire muera, es que me gusta Claire y ella es tan linda y hermosa. ¿Qué does that mean? Do you, can you translate it? I don't or? want Claire. I don't want Claire to die. I like Claire, and she's so not pretty and beautiful. Okay. <laughs> thank uh, you, Luno. Thank you, Luno. It's always nice to have a Spanish translator. Uh, yeah, if only we had a French translator so I could get that. We could do that one Godzilla story. <laughs> Oh, we can we can get Eileen as a special guest, I guess. Wait, she speaks French. She's learning. Ah, oh, well, she's become more fluent. Yeah, she could she could probably translate it for us. Oh, Cody Rasmussen. Again, um, not on this account says to Yason. I'm sorry. Can you type that again in English? I'm sorry, but I don't understand what that says. Sorry. You oh. got a translator online, dude. Oh, and Ye and Ye san mm -hmm. just translated it for him. Oh. <laughs> Luna, did you just read that comment and you did it without us knowing? <laughs> I feel like a real dumbass. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I swear. <laughs> no, but it's just funny. It's just funny. Um, also, you fucking simpleton do not realize, but I have been secretly drinking rum and coke this entire time. Yeah. And then guess, uh, Nick just went back and forth about it, and then, uh, guess says, I have a feeling that you made fun of suicidal people on some weird way. And then there's the fucking <laughs> cretin. Yeah. When, 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 we, when we upload this, Mr. Meme, just, like, crop those reviews out. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... Look for the triangle shirt waist factory one. Oh wait! Oh, a tragic May afternoon in 1937. Wait, Lincoln a, boards an the. Made an episode dedicated to SpongeBob. He made a fanfic dedicated to SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. He did. It, and by that I mean it's literally an episode of SpongeBob. A tragic May afternoon in 1937. Lincoln boards the famous Zeppelin, the Hindenburg, the Hindenburg. On its journey from Frankfurt to Lakehurst, unknown to him and the others, disaster is bound to strike. It's 8,000 words one, though. Long, long and fucking eight chapters. I know, yeah. I just wanted to say it. All right, can we find the one I want to do? All right, I'll try and find it. This A one? tragic March afternoon. Yes, it's a lot. Of oh, oh, wait, I can, no, that's actually went way too long. Fuck. Fuck. Again, we can always come back to these things on a different day. What's the SpongeBob one? Right, Young Sandy one. Cheeks. Oh, okay. This this is the one. It's it's eight thousand words long though. Har Arthur annoys D W for a day, an entire day. We can do that one. Another Arthur story. Sure, we can do it. <laughs> and then after that, we'll do the Loud House one. That'll cover all the fandoms. I guess. Uh, <laughs> in D W's room. This D.W. is sleeping all, when all of a sudden Arthur appears with a bullhorn. He turns on the bullhorn at, fall, at high volume and he shouts. There's no, there's, no, there's no quotes though. This is all you. Good morning. Arthur, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> Good evening, children. <laughs> That's you, children. <laughs> oh wait, no. So, I guess I guess I don't get to do my Arthur voice anymore. Fuck. The loud noise. <laughs> the loud god is enough to wake DW, DW up. Luna, you can be DW. The smack the horn out of Arthur's hand. Arthur just laughs. <laughs> What's up, you idiot? I am not an idiot. Cuts to DW washing her hand. Arthur appears with an air horn. Honk. I don't think that's. Wait, no. I don't. I don't think that's. I don't think that's what air uh, horn sounds like. Wait. Read Arthur appears in the air horn again. Arthur appears with an air horn. The honking scares DW into getting water on her shirt. It's just water. Cuts to DW putting her clothes in the dryer. Arthur startles DW with the air horn again.
Luna? Yeah. Who are you? Oh my, you're so annoying. <laughs> what? It's, it's such a... You're so stupid! You're so stupid! You're stupid! Cuts to DW watching TV. Arthur honks the air horn again. <laughs> the, the noise causes DW to jump a little, but continues to watch TV. Shows DW outside all of a sudden. Arthur appears with a leaf blower. Now, there are no quotes here, so this is not, like, in either of them speaking. Arthur, hey, DW, DW, yeah. All of a sudden, Arthur starts blowing at DW. <laughs> Who then starts running away to get some peace and quiet from Arthur. It's like a, that's like a fucking jackass stunt. Sure. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Yeah. Shows Arthur with a toilet plunger. All of a sudden, <laughs> Arthur puts a toy plunger on top of DW's head. Arthur starts hey, laughing. This is laughing. Arthur Reed, a jackass, and I'm gonna be fucked with my little sister all day today. <laughs> Holy fuck, Arthur! I'm kidding. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur, stop! Stop, man! Stop! He's beating the shit up. God, he sets his nuts on fire. <laughs> And then he shoots her with a fucking arrow. He catches an arrow and throws it into her fucking shoulder. Dude, Arthur characters doing jackasses. Jackass stuff. <laughs> looks. Feels funny. Hi, funny. I'm Binky and this is Jackass! <laughs> and then, like, he does. And then you get, like, alligator. And then he gets shot you. in the fucking chest with a riot gun. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even part of the bit. Someone just did that to him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Luna. Are you kidding? That's gross. Cuts to DW and Emily watching Mary Moo Cow on the TV. Unknown to them, right, Arthur so, has the remote oh, and he aims at oh, the TV. That, she's, watching, she's watching her clothes, but like they're watching a preschool show. Um, she's a very self sufficient little girl. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, God, what is Arthur going to put on? Is, is he going to put on fucking. Yeah. Although, unfortunately, DW does grow up to become a cop, so this is all justified. Oh, uh, yeah, that is true. Police brutality. Arthur pushes Arthur, the power this button. This to become a cop. Arthur pushes the power button, and the TV turns off. Emily, what the? Oh, my God. Is this whole story is just going to be that revenge fantasy tro troopers have with her. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe it is. I believe it is. Also, uh, if you see uh, any, like, those weird, like, F-U-D-W videos on, on the internet, on your YouTube recommendation, uh, call us immediately. You might be experiencing, you might have a fucking parasite in your body. Uh, yeah, you might have a parasite. Uh, uh, put gr so, like, swab your ears, and if you see any, like, gray fluid, that's your brain. <laughs> hey! 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 Build a Lego hey. City River! <laughs> Arthur just laughs. Emily gets up and look and look at the buttons on the TV. That's not buttons, that's buddy ons. Buddy ons. Buddy ons. Buddy -ons. Turn it to be back on, you moron. You're a moron. <laughs> Whoa, Arthur whoa, laughs whoa, as he drops whoa, the room. Whoa! What the, the no! <laughs> what the fuck? Hold up, wait, wait, what, what are you getting so worked up about? Hold up. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. For God's sake, how how, how do you turn it on? Because the DW taking a bath in the bathroom. What the fuck? <laughs> Should we read this? Should we? I don't think... <laughs> I don't think I don't think he poops on her. <laughs> I think he just ripped that. <laughs> this is your idea. You're the one that wanted a fucking Arthur story in this fucking video. You said I, su I suggested it. You insisted upon it. It was one of the only stories that's like under a thousand words. Fucking keep reading, bitch. Uh. 
All no, of this is, this is you. Oh, hey, DW, I gotta do a number two. <laughs> you better not poop in here. <laughs> I gotta go. Drops his pants. <laughs> You know, if they weren't fans, this would be very funny. I mean, it's still kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, no, it won't, I promise. Puts a gas mask on as he sits on the toilet. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna... Ooh, rip ass. Okay. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Cuts the DW. Cuts the DW making some cereal. As D.W. goes to get the milk, Arthur comes in with the vacuum, and he turns it on and uses it to suck up the cereal. That's <laughs> way to waste some perfectly good cereal, asshole. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Luigi, Luigi's Mansion shit. <laughs> God. Hey! Grab the cereal. Arthur just la locks. Locks. As ZW locks. sets the bowl, Arthur begins to suck up some some more cereal with the vacuum. <laughs> Where is parents? That's like, what the what fuck are you doing parents? with the vacuum? What, what, what is going to end? What the fuck are you doing know. with the vacuum? I don't know. We're like halfway done with this story. Boss off. With that, DW grabs a rolling pin. Oh, shoot. Runs, Runs away. away. DW chases Arthur out of the kitchen. Cuts to Arthur putting vinegar in the teapot. Oh, no! <laughs> the whole time this hasn't been Arthur, it's been his evil twin brother, Arthur. Arthur. Later, DW uses the teapot to make My herself... My favorite sequel to Ben Hur. Arthur. Later, DW uses the teapot to make herself some hot chocolate. Upon taking a sip, D.W. spits it out and starts coughing, while Arthur starts laughing. Cue the, cue the Border Express song. Yeah. <laughs> what you do that? What you do to that? What the fuck is she saying? What are you Arthur, saying? Arthur, I put vinegar in the teapot. <laughs> Why are you telling him that, narrator? Or, um, the narrator is Arher. No, no, Arher is the narrator. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Arthur, Arher, I, Arthur, I put vinegar in the teapot. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> That's my sister. That's dangerous. That could kill people, probably. <laughs> nasty. No, that's nasty. That's nasty. Nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Cuts to DW drinking nasty. a small bottle of soda. All of a sudden, Arthur smacks the top of her bottle with his... His what? His what? <laughs> his what? <laughs> like, smack bottle, nice pop. You can't pop. do this to me. <laughs> he smacks the top of her bottle with what? I don't want to know, frankly. I so think we're all thinking the same thing. <laughs> so it starts fizzing out, causing a mess. DW puts the top oh, of the no. bottle with her mouth. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. Okay, this is weird. This is somehow weirder than, like, the toilet thing earlier. <laughs> Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Spooky, you idiot. That reminds me of the TikTok of the dude who put, like, an entire thing of Mentos into a two liter of Coke, and then he tried to like drink it as it was fizzing up, and he almost choked to death on it. Yeah. Am I dirty minded? Am I dirty minded? Am I dirty minded? No, I'm also thinking this is like some sort of weird, like fetishy undertones. I read it. Uh, yeah. Not my prop. <laughs> prop cuts, cuts to Arthur with a pair of scissors. CW is in her room charging her phone. All women born after 1993 know how to do is uh, uh, charge their phone, uh, eat hot chip, be bisexual, and lie. Arthur comes in. You doing? Oh, I am here to cut your cord. Your, your, your umbilical cord. 
<laughs> yeah, she's like week old. <laughs> Where? Luno? Don't you dare. With that, Arthur cuts DW's charging cord. Oh my god, they told us and then they showed us. Oh. Starts walking. That's like a fucking. That's like a Scottish Gaelic word or something. It's like Welsh. God, what is this starting to like. Really, why, is, why is the dialogue starting to sound like a fucking Call of Duty, like, text chat? It's fucking. <laughs> it's like fucking Kenny J. Come on, John Furrium! I'll fuck you up! <laughs> you dumb. What is your problem? Is this a Club Penguin roleplay? Problem. 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 the real shit. Arthur. Ar okay. Arthur just continues locking. Go buy me another one, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Yeah, Mom and I are going to the store anyway. So you're Cut just gonna Arthur. go buy another one, you cuck. <laughs> Cuts to Arthur yeah, with a blue... He's going to buy her a new phone charger, but it's going to be like the wrong kind of phone charger. It's going to be like an old phone charger, and her, her, the new phone charger she uses, like, the universal one. So it's not going to fit. She's going to buy her, like, a fucking DS charger. <laughs> Cuts to Arthur with a blue exercise ball. All of a sudden, Arthur kicks the ball, which No, 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 once... blue exercise. Exercise. It, it, I said exercise, that. Exercise, like a demon. I said that. Exercise ball. Like demons, shit. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Arthur kicks the ball, which one side barely hits barley. the in the face. Barley! Barley, barley. Arthur just laughs. I just saw my life flash before my eyes, so it hit her or not? Okay, cuts to the kitchen. ADW. What now? All of a sudden, <laughs> Arthur farts. Oh, uh, gross. Cuts to the living room. There, DW like is watching <laughs> Mary Mookie out. What if, what if this guy, what if this guy stopped writing because he got picked up by a family guy? <laughs> is oh this God, written imagine. by AI? I, I'm starting to feel like this, you know what, this does feel like an AI. <laughs> This was a this was a beta beta AI. DW. All of a sudden, Arthur farts again. <laughs> Arthur la locks yet again. You're disgusting. My disgusting what? My farts. <laughs> and DW grabs a pillow and hits Arthur in the face. Arthur just continues locking. Cuts to DW walking upstairs. ADW. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Arthur throws a cup of cup up of water on DW. All right, hold on, my. Really? Are you serious right now? I just, I just had enough. I was just about had enough of you today. Good night. Good. Wait, no. Good. Whatever, good night. Good night. With, good with, night. <laughs> with that, DW just goes upstairs to get ready for bed. Night, Nick, DW. <laughs> God, what the fuck was this? When was this written? When was this written? 2019. 2019. Okay, I don't think this was AI. This might not have been AI, I don't know. Okay. Okay, there's that fucking cutting again. Did, have I seen this guy before? Chacha, 1994, you mean he's got a Garfield profile picture. The Great Dora Death Race Redux. John gets Sonic Rose. High School, the remake? Really? <laughs> a rewrite and hopefully John improved version of Dark King Firemasters. John gets circumcised? Hold on, I think I remember no! this guy. Hold up. Wasn't he, in the, wasn't he in the review section of the Bob the Builder Creepypasta DSCC? 
covered? Oh, let's see. Let's see. This will be a quick little intermission. Quick, quick little uh, deep dive. Oh, the builder. Can we fix it? No. No, he can't. <laughs> Fuck. You laugh no. like Mandar. No, I fucking can't. Oh no, bro. There it is. It is! Yeah! There you go. Fun little connection. Fun little connection in a... Tim Tim gets the chair. Garfield passes away. Buster gets castrated again. The Builder! Sounds circumcision. Yeah. Anyway, let's, let's, let's hurry up and go to go do a Loud House fan so we can wrap this up. We'll do the worst. Sisters. You read it this time. Shows Lincoln playing video games. All of a sudden, Lana appears with a pool stick and she whacks it against Lincoln's arm. Whack! The pool stick breaks. Lincoln starts screaming in play pain. Lincoln uh, starts. Oh no, my no, no, God. no! Go! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Lana just walked. Cuts Lincoln walking down the road. All of a sudden, Lori is driving and she runs Lincoln over! <laughs> <laughs> That's attempted murder! <laughs> Brian, look out! <laughs> Lori just... All of a sudden... Lincoln jumps onto the hood of Vanzilla. Lori just stickers as Lincoln holds onto his back in pain. Cuts the tennis court. Lincoln just stood there watching Lynn play tennis. Unknown to him, Lynn aims the machine at him. A ball shoots Lincoln in the butt. Lynn hits the ball with her racket and it hits Lincoln in the back. What? 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 Ah! No, no. I want you to do the stream. Ah! Like, like you're, like you know, like, like you're screaming. You're doing a funny scream, but you don't want your parents to wake up. Oh. <laughs> there. Lynn just laughs. Cuts to the golf course. Lincoln just stood there. Unknown to him, Lori swings her golf club and hits the ball. The golf ball hits Lincoln in the leg. Lincoln, oh my god, oh my god. Morris just laughs. <laughs> They're trying to kill him. <laughs> Loris just laughs at Lincoln's pain. Lincoln, ah, you bitch! Oh my god! Cuts to the kitchen. <laughs> Lola takes a chief's knife out of the drawer and then tosses the knife at Lincoln. Well, the they chief's... have a chief's knife. They have like a sacrificial dagger from the Aztec. Well, the, chief, the chief's knife. Lola is a toddler. Uh, here, Luno, you voiced Lola. Lincoln catch. It's like the Eminem meme where he's throwing something at you. Yeah. Lincoln catches the knife, almost stabbing. Lola, Lola, wow, you, Lola, wow, you nailed it. Lincoln just gives Lola a CES look. Cuts to Lincoln at Starbucks with his wallet on the table. Lenny, pay back for my dress. Lincoln walks to the table with a hot chocolate. Lenny grabs Lincoln's wallet. Lenny, you don't need this, do you? With that, Lenny throws Lincoln's wallet onto the other side of the road. Lincoln gasps. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Cuts to Lenny running to Lincoln's wallet. No, Lincoln, Lincoln's wallet. Lincoln, no, 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 no. Lenny kicks Lincoln's wallet into the storm drain. What a bitch. <laughs> Lincoln, no. Lincoln, no, my money was in there. The wall was down there. Luckily, the storm drain is dry, but impossible to reach. Lincoln. Oh, God damn it. With the Lincoln lifts the storm drain cover, and he gets inside. All right, all Lincoln. right, guys. Consider this. Consider this. The Idea Sisters. The, I the Idea Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Like the idea, guys? Yeah. Oh, oh, yuck. 
Oh shit. Uh, once Lincoln was down there, Lenny closed the lid, trapping Lincoln inside. Lincoln. Lenny, what are you doing? Lenny, getting you back for dumping paint on my dress. Lenny, please. Lincoln. Lenny, come on, please. I can't get this thing open. Lenny then starts spilling hot chocolate on Lincoln. Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. what is that? Are you pissing? Fuck. <laughs> I'm... Lenny, Lori walks up like, what the hell are you doing? I'm, I'm taking a piss. <laughs> Link, Lenny just laughs. Oh, it's in my face. Oh, it's hot as air. Cuts to Lincoln getting out of the storm drain. Set, set, gets, sets his wallet aside and then gets out of the storm drain. I'm Lincoln. not hanging out with you guys anymore. Cuts to Lincoln at the park. All of a sudden, Lisa hits Lincoln with a stick. The stick <laughs> breaks. Lincoln. Ah! Ah! Lisa just laughs. Locks. Cuts to Lincoln talking to Clyde. Lynn appears with a belt and she whacks Lincoln in the back with the belt. <laughs> you know, normally when there's a montage of, like, people being mean to a character... Usually there's like a choke or like a dramatic irony, not not like hitting people with belts and stuff. Yeah. And so far, oh! and so far, so far, Lenny is doing almost anything approaching a motive. Oh, you little! Are you little? <laughs> Lynn just laughs. Cuts to Lana and Lisa putting plastic wrap over all over Lincoln's room. They put plastic raped. They put plastic raped Lincoln's bed walls, his toys, his planes, his door. Cuts to Lincoln, walks up the stairs, then he sees his room plastic wrap. Lincoln. What the, seriously? L Lana, a package came, dude. Seriously, Lincoln. Lana, I just want to lay down. So he goes to the room, Lana, dude. This is like a fucking family guy joke. Ha ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly like Family Guy. Like, 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 this is something Peter would do to, like, the rest of the family, and they'd all hate him for it. It's like the, the, the uh, fucking, uh, you know, the, the, the Halloween episode. <laughs> uh, cuts to, wait, wait. Cuts to Lola holding a toaster. Lola. Lincoln is having a... Oh, wait, no. L L L no, you're Lola. Lincoln is having a bad. Let's give him a little prize. You are going to kill him! With that, Lola barges into the bathroom. Hey, Lincoln. Uh, hey, Lincoln. What are you doing? Lola. Somehow the fact that she walked him him on the on him on him taking a bed is the least concerning bear. Yeah, not the attempted murder. Uh with that, Lola cat throws the toaster towards Lincoln, but Lincoln manages to catch the toaster just before it could hit the water. Lincoln. Oh you did it, Could could I plug it in? Yeah, plug it in. Lola Content just con continues to laugh. Rock. I could have died. A jackass music starts playing. Now, 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 now. <laughs> Man, they really uh, went downhill. The they really went downhill uh, here in Jackass Five. It, hey, we're the loud family. We're the loud sisters, and we're gonna be kicking our brother's ass all day today. Take a look at the review. Oh, hey, the person isn't here. Mario Fan 8A, what the fuck? Wait, 88, is he a Nazi? <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah, he is. <laughs> read this, read this, man. 
After nearly dying from electrocution, Lincoln, uh, Lincoln angrily yells at all his sisters for trying to kill him. They reply by saying he shouldn't have pranked them in the first place before all of them laugh. Lincoln is still pissed off at his sisters, leaves, and begins to plan his revenge. Thomas. Later, Lincoln sets up... What? No, keep reading. Later, Lincoln sets up a bunch of firecrackers in front of the front porch, planning to scare his sisters and to stop pranking him. Once the firecrackers are set up, Lincoln yells at his sisters to come outside. The sisters hear him and run to the front door, but the moment they open it, Lincoln activates the firecrackers with the remote, causing them to go off, catching all the girls off guard, frightening and horrifying them as they fall onto their backs. Once the firecrackers stop popping, and the sisters look through their smoke, only to see that Lincoln, Lincoln when it clears, who is laughing man manically at his successful prank. Now furious, the sisters angrily run over to Lincoln and begin screaming at him on why he did that. Lincoln then tells them, if you can just prank someone and get away with it, think again. And that's why we think the story is over, or is it? As the loud girls continue to yell at their brother, the box containing the firecrackers tips over, revealing one last firecracker. The firecracker then goes off without warning, sending several fiery embers flying everywhere. One of them flies towards the siblings, and the girls immediately get out of the way when, it sees it, when they see it coming. Lincoln, however, sees the flying ember too soon, and is hit by it, and he attempts to run, run away. Warning! <laughs> Major character death! Thomas. Do not read if you do not like blood! The moment the firecracker hits Lincoln, the mini explosion occurs as Lincoln is horrifically split in half at the torso. <laughs> Thomas, a fire is it a firecracker or is it a fifty caliber sniper round? You pick. <laughs> it's a fucking samurai sword. Also, much to his sister's terror, many people come outside and see the terrifying scene of Lincoln's death. The sisters come over and Lincoln upper half and begin to cry, knowing that their previous actions led to this. Van Zilla arrives, and the parents are, were also horrified at their own daughters crying over their own son's upper half. Later, Lincoln's funeral is held, and the Loud family, along with their friends, attend, nearly all of them crying. Thomas. Some of them weren't, though. None of Lincoln's sisters will ever forgive themselves for Lincoln's death. As the funeral comes to an end and everyone leaves, Lincoln's ghost stares sadly at his weeping family Thomas. before fading away to heaven. Sometimes you need, you need, you need to edit, You need to edit Lincoln's ghost into the background of the thumbnail. <laughs> yes, sometimes pranks are deadlier than they look. The end. Also, sorry, I'm sorry I had to make this ending. Not all stories can have happy conclusions, and this is one of them. Even though Lincoln receives karma for his actions oh, in the man. prequel, the sisters' pranks were just as bad in this one. Nice, never try what Marty and Michael did in real life, ever. Who? <laughs> this guy just fucking jacked the story. Yeah, Columbine? he did. The Columbine kids? No, that, that was, that was, wait, was it? No, that wasn't. It was like Jack and Dylan play something. Not not much here going at like Gumdrop Arc. Sorry, but this is stupid. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that I was think, Cody Rathman. I think that's enough for this author highlight. We will return to more of his stories later, like we said with the fucking Ash X for you go guy, but we never did. Yeah, we should probably. See his stuff. That's a good delay. Yeah. But, uh, uh, join our Discord server to, uh, submit more funny stuff like this. Check out CC's Ko fi. Check out all of our individual channels. And, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And this video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Die. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, thank you for watching. And this has been original content, and it has been self inflicted. Oh, I thought I got you guys. Never mind.